Hello everyone and welcome to another video where we find more games or activities here in Isla Sinaloa. Right now I am at the Botanic Garden and I want to show you another game that we can find here in the east room of the building. So once that we are here we just need to go all the way down and as usual we're going to look for a table with the game that's already set up on there. So right here we will find it and then as usual, we simply interact with it. Okay, so the name of the game is Islands in the Sea, and this is a binary puzzle. We are going to separate islands by filling in the sea. So we're going to be clicking on some cells, and that is going to be creating the sea of this uh, game. And we're going to use the clues to know the, the number of tiles that each island will get. So that is something that we're going to see in a second. The other rule is that the C, which are going to be the black cells, need to be connected in a single line or all together. So we're going to see that in a second. All right, so what I like to do is to start with the number ones uh, by doing this. So I am surrounding them and making sure that these are already green or marked as completed using the least amount of uh, tiles that I can because most of the times you're going to be dealing with some neighboring te uh, islands that you need to take in consideration in order to complete the puzzle. So remember that uh, we need to have a straight C using the black cells and we cannot make pools where several black tiles are together. So this is how you can uh, complete islands in the sea. As you can see, the, the black tiles are connected all together. And we don't have any pools, which is big areas with black uh, cells on them. And each single island, it is representing the number in the clue. So that's uh, how you do it. I hope that you find this video useful and that you give it a try. I think that out of the several games that we have here, including math and logic to resolve them, this is one of the easiest, though it can be daring at the beginning since you have a blank screen um, completely. So you need to start adding some black cells. Like I said, what works best for me is start with the ones and then move your way or uh, just try to get the rest by the spaces that you're leaving open after completing the ones. That's going to be it for this video. I'll see you soon in another one, but until then, goodbye.